So it's just a little video. Uh, just I've done a couple of tests with this homemade shunt and I've been inundated by two people um, that just wanted to know how I made it. Um, and uh, yeah, just wanted a bit more info. So this is what it is. It's a power tech, which is J car here in Australia, but you can buy these on eBay. They're, they're bloody everywhere. Um, they're all the same really. Um, this is a 200 amp one uh, with external shunt. And the reason I chose this one was it's got the full readout. So we've got the voltage, we've got the current milliamps or amps being drawn and the wattage, the watt hours, uh, the capacity that's been um, removed from the battery you're using, uh, the resistances, and I love this running time. So especially when I'm doing tests with fridges and stuff like that, I wanna know how long that battery will run for, uh, run that fridge for, and then what the capacity is in that amount. So uh, it's just a really handy all-rounder. So all I've done was just bought this little electrical box. There's my two Addisons. This is our battery input, and this is your output. So this will go to your fridge or whatever you're powering, or even if you're gonna put charge back into the battery, you still use this outlet, so it runs back through the shunt. Um, so you'd put the charger on that side as well. And then all it is is inside. Just cut out a little slot for the unit. And oh, hang that there. There's the shunt right there right here and all the wiring diagrams is it's upside down spin it round it shows you exactly how to wire it so it runs through the shunt and your load and the other excellent thing that I loved about this is it has a external power um, available so if you run your battery completely flat ie like a lithium that we're doing tests on and the bms cuts it off and chucks the voltage down to zero you don't lose all your data it keeps it live um via the wiring here straight on and all i used was just a little nine volt battery and that just stores all the info um and keeps my screen powered up at all times so uh, it'll only revert to that once it doesn't have a battery supply running through it it will then take power from that battery so um that's it really um the shunt i actually nut and bolted onto the back with two studs and then i just put a foam pad in um just to protect it and then the anderson plugs so you've got one side Try and get it like that. Try and get it so it reads it all. Um, the only thing you've got to watch out for is when you buy these, there is writing, there's markings on each side. And this one says FL-200, and this side says 200 amp, um, and I can't read that bit. So basically, you just got to make sure you get it around the right way. So the side that says fl that lead there you can see runs straight there to your battery side okay then this side that says 200 um, amps this side will run to your outlet so your loads basically so just make sure you get that round the right way it probably doesn't matter but i just um yeah i've done a bit of research and uh, that's how it says annoyingly it doesn't tell you on here um but yeah so just make sure you get that round the right way if you do purchase one of these and then obviously as the diagram shows you've got your blue on one side of the shunt which is the battery side which is here and then the yellow on the load side which is here and then you got your two markings there positive and negative to your little battery backup it's so simple and that's what i liked about it and um yeah i mean i paid 45 australian dollars for the unit which i know a lot of you would say that's really expensive if you buy them on ebay but i brought it locally so if i had any problems i can just take it back easy and i brought this little box for like 10 bucks and I had a couple of Andersons. Um, so it literally took 30 minutes to build. And it is quite big and bulky, but it does me. 
and it's just really handy. You can still access all the wiring and then it just is in a handy little box. I can just chuck around and connect anything I want to on it. So there you go. Hope that helps and um, yeah, we'll get on to the next video. If you, uh, if you like it, please put a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help. Anyway, we'll get on to the next one. Cheers.